Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metal market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to this full video with all the commodities that are available on Etero. So the link is down below. So as you can see, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index and uh, we have rallied quite significantly today up towards the 20 mo exponential moving average and then given some of those gains back when we reached these previous highs. Uh, we may see this go all the way to the 20 exponential and that's roughly at 90.10 at this current stage. Technical indicators are turning around. However, I think it's just gonna be more of the same. Rally up towards the 20, then break down even further. We are in the downtrend and we have been, the 20 exponential has been very um, resistant for a very long time now. And there's not really any expectation that we are going to break above the 20 exponential. If we do, then we'll head to the 50 and then we'll find even more resistance there. But this has had a toll on most commodities and precious metals. For example, gold, which was expected to rally in the field today, did not rally significantly and so on. So let's look at oil. So oil is trading at 50.92 at this current stage. We were all the way up at 51.21 at the, uh, today. And uh, we are just going to go higher and higher and higher. At this current stage, I think that 60 is basically the target. I'd be very surprised uh, because, uh, well, the reason why this is, uh, the, well, this is um, increasing is basically pure speculation. Even the US dollar appreciated day, this still increased, uh, and that makes absolutely no sense. Technical indicators are very bullish for, for oil. Uh, we are on the edge of being overbought, so just keep that in mind. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, for oil, we should be fairly overstretched. So a pullback towards roughly uh, 38, that is very likely at this current stage. But we were also very overstretched yesterday, and then we rallied even more. So, But um, we are overstretched here in the Bollinger Band, and we are on the edge of being overbought, and there's no reason for us to be at this level but we are and um, if you want to make money then you should basically follow the trend and not try to beat the trend so pull back towards the 20 exponential roughly 48 that's your entry point i would then enter for a buy here i would wait until we have a pullback then you can put a stop loss right on here at roughly 47 and then target these previous highs again or even higher than that 55 for example so let's look at natural gas We are just seeing more of the same, which I uh, kind of expected. Technical indicators are also showing that we are, are getting exhausted here, and this is just going to turn around. So it is very likely that we'll see more of this continuation, fall, rise, fall, rise, fall, rise. And then we have uh, risen all the way up towards the 50, did not even touch the 50, and now we're just falling back down towards the 200 moving average. If the 20 exponential breaks, for example, similar to this, then we'll see a tidal wave all the way to the 200. And then it will be a question whether or not the 200 holds. If that doesn't hold, we'll go all the way down to 1.7. So this is a market that I did trade when we uh, found support here at the 200 because that was fairly expected. It was expected for a pullback. Uh, or a rally, but I did not expect a rally all the way up to the 200 moving, uh, to the 50 moving average. That was very uh, surprising that we did that, but we did. And uh, yes, at this current stage, I'm just staying away from this because it could turn around here, go to uh, to the upside. It could also fall all the way down to the 200 moving average, and therefore it is way too risky to enter this market. So let's look at copper. We have rally yet again. We are trading at 3.7, which uh, was um, also ex kind of expected. I thought we were going to fall in towards the 20 exponential moving average, but we didn't. Um, so at this current point, we are getting very overstretched. We are at the, we are overbought here at the 75. 
71 here in RSI. Taking the English R, turning around, for example, the CCI and the, the sarcastic is, well, it's bullish and the same goes for the MACD. But a pullback towards the, the 20 exponential, that is basically uh, what is needed here. So you know, 3.55 or 3.56, that is where uh, most buyers probably are waiting for this to fall and then will start buying it again. Um, and with a stop loss roughly underneath the 20 exponential here at 3.5 and then we will target 3.75. So let's look at gold. So gold had a really rough day today. So it was fairly expected for gold to rally. Um, towards the 1950 but it is gone most likely going to take its time we are we have a we have a trend line here that is working as a major uh, support roughly there and uh, it is very unlikely that we're going to break this this uh, support line underneath we have the 20 exponential and the 50 and all the way down here we have the the 200 so what is going to happen here is most likely that we're going to see this line going up this way and we are just going to see this continue even higher. If the US dollar starts depreciating again, we could expect this to increase significantly higher. Technical indicators are turning around a little bit, but I think this is going to be short lived as we are most likely going to bounce from this and go ahead for 1950 and then 2000. Let's look at silver. So silver, very similar thing here. Uh, people were mostly focusing on you know, cryptocurrency today and not silver and gold in order to use it as a safe haven. But in the long run, silver and gold are going to increase. Um, but we have this resistant area here that we need to take out in order for us to go to $30. But this is a fairly good setup for a buy. We have the trend line here, the 20 exponential underneath and the 50 uh, stop loss right underneath this and then the target of $30. So let's look at platinum. So we continue this rally. I was hoping for a pullback towards the 20 exponential, but we are rallying. So 11, 17, that's where we are at this current stage. We are fairly overstretched at this current stage. We're way outside of the bullish band, so a pullback, very aggressive pullback towards the middle here, roughly at 10.34. Uh, that is very expected. We are overbought as well, uh, but technical indicators are still very bullish for this market. Pullback towards this area, that is your entry point with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential and the target again of these very highs. So let's look at Pallium. So as you can see, we continue our decline. We are still trading above the 20 exponential. So it's going to be interesting to basically see what happened when or not we get all the way down to the 20 exponential. I, we probably could see a continuation up this way. And then we'll probably, if we manage to take out these previous highs, then we most likely have a very good chance of going significantly higher. Otherwise, we have been trading in this range for technically forever. All the way back to July last year, we have been in this range. And, uh, well, it has been a, basically a pain to, to trade this. I have I just stay technically far away from this because it is just, well, it's not my type of trade. I like when we have clear patterns of, of a major resistance and support. So... At this current stage, I would not consider everybody buying into this whatsoever. So, so let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have we broke down significantly yesterday, and then we today we found support here at the 20 exponential moving average. However, technical indicators are turning around, so they are looking very, very uh, negative at this current stage so we may see another go uh, at these very lows probably towards the 50 moving average that will be uh, where i think that we will see this massive turnaround to the upside 
Um, because the CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, and the MACD is basically very bearish at this point. RSI is flat, and there's a lot of room to the downside. So a break towards these level here, that is basically entry point for a buy with a stop loss underneath and a target of these highs. So let's look at nickel. So we continue our rally. We are trading at 18,727 at this point. We are on the edge of being overbought. The technicians are very bullish at this point. So um, yes, uh, we may see uh, this market go a little bit higher, but I do expect a pullback towards these previous highs, roughly 7,400 or 7,500 before uh, we start rallying again. It is too late in order to enter this market. A pullback is necessary in order to enter this market. So let's look at sugar. So this is what I did expect for sugar. Uh, we were way, way, way overstretched in this market. As you can see, we were outside of the bullish band and now you just collapse. So people um, that are trading Bitcoin at this current stage, this is what's going to happen with Bitcoin. It's just going to happen all of a sudden and it's going to lose a lot of value. We have uh, definitely some downside still. We found uh, support here because it's the previous highs. Um, and we also had the Fibonacci retracement. If you can look here to the upside, we can see that Fibonacci retracement is right here. So there's going to be some support there, but the 50 is where we're going to head to. So 0 0.1518, that is very likely that we're going all the way down here to the 20 exponential, and then we'll find the support there and then probably continue our rise. But there is, these technical indicators are turning around very aggressively. This is a massive fall of roughly 4%. So we have some, well, basically a downside still in this market. So let's look at cotton. So we're probably going to see the same thing in this market and it has been a, a, a continuation. So trade outside of the bullish band, go towards the, the middle or the 50 moving average and so on and so on. So a pullback towards at least the middle of the bullish band roughly at 0 0.7654. That is very likely for cotton at this point. Technically, there's also turned around. We are overbought. So a fall towards this area that is very likely at this point and then you can start buying it with stop loss underneath there and the target of these pre previous highs so cocoa we can see that we have tried to rally but it is still just more of the same i would not consider anybody entering this market we have the highs here and we have the lows here and we're basically trading in between this. So it's just a pure gamble. It can go rallying to the upside, it can go rallying to the downside, and therefore just stay away from this until we get a clear sign where this market is going. It is no point. I do favor the upside. The reason for that is because these technical indicators are turning away, turning around. And we're also entering um, uh, holidays where you're going to use a lot of chocolate and 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 this demand for this is going to most likely going to increase how much that is not very easy to say but at this point as a technical analysis it's just not worth it it's a pure gamble so let's look at wheat we can see very similar to sugar and cotton uh, we have traded outside of the Bollinger Band and now we're going back towards the middle here and we need this fall in order to enter this market again. So we'll most likely drop towards roughly 620, give or take. And when it turns around here, we can still put a stop loss underneath and target these highs again. Technical indicators are turning around for this market and it is going to fall even further because we are very overstretched. There is room to the upside, but still... Uh, we were very overstretched and usually it falls back towards the middle when that occurs. So if you have any questions, you're welcome to write to me on Patreon. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.